How's it going? Buddy, whose guy is this? <laughs> you like that? I hope this has some special powers, because this is... <laughs> Might have radiated a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like it. Ryan, you said on Wednesday that it would be huge for you guys to get another win to keep stacking and keep pacing your division. It turned out the right way today. Yeah, every time you can get a win in this league, it's going to be huge for you. Obviously, you know, getting back to, to four and four, get another win at home, two in a row. Um, we just got to keep improving, keep finding a way to win games. You know, today was ugly at times. Defense played their tails off, really came away huge with the takeaways, put us in great field position. Offense was able to, to make the plays to capitalize, get in the end zone once we got down there. You know, it was ugly at times for the offense, but I felt like in the red zone, we were good. We did get in the end zone when we were down there, which ended up being, up, being huge for us. We just got to, like I said, just keep finding ways to win these games. You know, sometimes it's going to be pretty, sometimes it's going to be ugly, but as long as you can find a way to win, you know, that's what, that's what we're out here to, to do. What did they do to take away your wide receivers for so much of the game today? They did a good job, man. They, they were getting some pressure up front that, you know, we were getting some open guys and, and just weren't able to, uh, to get them the ball. Um, they, were, they were giving us some, some good looks outside, so um, I'll have to go back and look at the tape and, and see – you know, obviously where I can be better at, but I know I had some opportunities and, um, and we just weren't able to, to finish, finish on some connections. But, um, you know, guys just kept plugging away, just kept finding a way and um, got down to the fourth quarter. We really needed it and put a big drive together and, and got in the end zone. You had five completions to wide receivers on that touchdown drive. So they were able to spring something loose at that point. Yeah, guys, like I said, they just kept plugging away, just kept playing. We kept, you know, our positive attitude on the sideline. Uh, believing that you know we were going to get out there and get in the end zone, and uh, you know finally it, it came together. We were able to to put the drive together, convert some third downs, which was huge, and uh, and get in the end zone. You've had I guess a couple of good combinations with John New over the last couple of weeks. What do you like about him? Why he, has he been so successful? Yeah, John New's really come on strong for us. You know I think uh, I've seen a lot of good things since I've been here from John New. Uh, he's got great speed, big, strong, physical. You know, you see the, the third down play, third and long last week. He's able to break, I don't know, four or five tackles and, and get a, a huge play. Uh, then today, you know, he just kept finding ways to get open, uh, making tough catches, and then uh, some tough runs as well. So he, he's really an all-around player for us. He blocks well. Uh, he's able to, uh, to get downfield in the pass game. He has good speed. So we really like what John brings to the table. And you personally, I guess, has five TDs in the first two starts here. You feel like you personally, after a good start, you feel good about your performance in the first two games here? I feel like you know something we can build on. Obviously, today was ugly at times. Um, I feel like I need to be better. I need to be more consistent throughout the game. We need to be able to sustain drives throughout the game. Um, offensively, we weren't good enough, in my opinion. Um, but defense really bailed us out, put us in some good spots. And like I said, we were good in the red zone. So um, we did some good things today. I feel like we have to be more consistent and, uh, and put more drives together throughout the game. Speaking of Ferks, or, or speaking of tight ends, Ferks are Pretty good day out there as well for you. Can you talk about his contribution? Yeah, Ferk has got a, a great skill set. You know, he's uh, he's shifty. He's tough to cover. Uh, he's a guy that I believed in since since I got here in the spring as well. You know, um, doesn't really matter if it's a a nickel or a safety on him, corner or a safety. Uh, feel good about that. You know, he has the, the size and, and the quickness to to get open. He has a good knack for that, and uh, we've seen it in practice a lot. And now, you know, unfortunately that Delaney's down, we're kind of getting to see some some action in, in the game. So. A ton of belief in Ferk, and uh, I know he's just going to keep getting better. How crucial was it for you guys as a team, first, to get four turnovers from the defense, and second, that you guys were able to capitalize and, for the most part, get touchdowns off of those turnovers? Yeah, it was huge. It was huge. You know, the, the two early ones put us inside the 10, and uh, not too many times that happens in the NFL. So, um, you know, those are, those are huge plays uh, that we really leaned on in the first half because, like I said, we didn't have a whole lot going offensively, but – uh, defense came up huge, and then we were able to capitalize and, and get in the end zone. Um, and then there at the end, you know, the big fourth down stop, and then uh, obviously the interception to, to end the game. So uh, they played big all day for us. Uh, you know, at times their offense did, did move the ball, but, you know, I have so much faith in our defense, and, and they've been so strong all year. Um, I knew that they were going to make plays, and, and they did. You take them anyway. You can get them, obviously. Do you still feel a little fortunate the way these two games broke? Um. I guess probably more last week than this week. Uh, you know, not too many stops on the one-inch line, fumbles on the one-inch line. Uh, so probably more fortunate last week. You know, I feel like guys really just gutted this one out. You know, we, we played hard, um, kept grinding, and, and found a way to win. And that's how it is in the National Football League. Sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's ugly, 
you just have to find a way to win, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, we're down in the fourth quarter and found a way to come out with a win. So you can do that. You know, you're going to be in good shape in this league. Did you learn something winning that way, too? Obviously, you'd like to win going away, but when you win close games, you, you hope it provides confidence in those type situations moving forward? No doubt that it gives you confidence. You know, you win these tight games in the fourth quarter, um, you know, you're in another tight one in, in a couple weeks or whenever it is. You feel good. You know, you've been there before. It's not new territory for you. You do have the confidence because you've seen the guys make the plays and, and have the belief that, that we can make it happen again. Second string, the, uh, the positive attitude on the sideline, is that something you've tried to contribute to in, in the last couple of weeks in this role? Yeah, no doubt. You know, obviously um, things aren't going well. You know, it's, guys can get frustrated and get down. And uh, we have to make the corrections and, and be serious. But when it's time to go back out there, it's a new start. And, and we've got to believe and have faith that, that we're going to get it going. So, uh, yeah, I just try to, try to lead the best way I can. Second straight week that an offensive lineman went down early in the game. What's it like having to adjust when guys have to come in off the bench and finish up? They did a great job again. You know, it's uh, it's kind of wild, you know, the different combinations. I think we had Jamil at center one time and Dennis in at, at tackle. Um, so it was, it was kind of crazy. You know, we had uh, guys shuffling around. But I have a ton of faith. You know, those guys have all played a lot of football for us and uh, obviously, um, you know, feel for Roger going out. But Jamil stepped right in and, and I – Obviously, I haven't looked at the tape, but uh, as stepping into the huddle, I have complete confidence in, in those five guys that are up there, whoever it is.